Hello everybody, welcome back to more Exit the Gungeon. I am mad. We uh, apparently had the option of betting 60, oh my god, 60 credits right here. But we had to leave, leave the game and come back, I guess, to get to show up. So we are not going to be on any kind of a wager today, but tomorrow we will get the big gamble. The large gamble of betting 60 to win 120. I don't know if it just, like, keeps on doubling. I mean, that's pretty dang ludicrous if it's true. I feel like it probably has got to, like, stop at some point, right? You can't just... You can't just keep on doing it. It'll destroy the economy. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. 60 credits for 120, and then what? What's next? 120 for 240? What's next? 240 for 480? What's next, 480 for a freaking house? I'll do it. I'll do it till the ends of the earth, because I ain't ever going to lose. I mean, I say that now, and then we'll have that one loss where we actually gambled away a substantial amount. I don't know. It, it would have to be a pretty bad day. We've been we've been winning quite uh, quite regularly, but it's, a, it's an interesting way to just have streaking kind of baked into the game a bit. In the sense where it's like... Let's see how big we can get the uh, the gamble streak. I don't know. Yeah, like, the thing is, yes, we have to give away quite a bit. But if we just keep on doing it, I don't know. We could eventually... Uh, it, it's kind of like interest in a bank. Right? But it's gambling. You know? I mean, uh, maybe. Anyways, we're playing as the freaking uh, the goal right now. We're playing as... The pilot. If you couldn't, if you didn't know, if you couldn't tell, we are the pilot right now. We are in the alternate costume, aka why I need to gamble so many credits so we can get all of these suckers. This one's got to be the coolest one of, of all of them, though, right? I I mean, it's just it's a it's almost a new character, truly. And in Exit, like I mean, in Enter the Gungeon, none of the characters are truly like that different. Holy crap! They're, you know, like, as far as, uh, I mean, obviously, like, the robot's pretty darn different, the gunslinger's pretty darn different, but in, in a sense of, like, roguelites, Enter the Gungeon's characters don't differ from each other that much. You gonna die someday here? Got the proton backpack. It just bad. RPG, it just good. Anyway, we did our, uh, we did our Enter the Gungeon gun tier list the other day if you did not check that out you should definitely give it some eyes go uh go take a peek over there god rpg god tier it is like every bullet uh, every explosion explosive shot breaks bullets in this game it's like how it used to be in enter the gungeon before they nerfed it but, uh, yeah, we did our ranking every single gun in Enter the Gungeon. It's, uh, it took a hell of a long time, but it was a lot of fun, and it's all, it's all done now. Go take a, take a gander. And, uh, see my, my opinions <laughs> from somebody with 1,200 hours in, uh, in Enter. And then, uh, you can say your opinions. <laughs> they're all, you know, they're all valid. They could be wrong, but <laughs> they're valid. Valid for you to say them. Here we go, 15 combo. We are missing a couple NPCs yet. I don't actually know who they... I don't actually know who they are. I really wish we could have had both of those. But oh well, flag bullets are real good. Do they work with the gun boots there? Is that what I just saw? They do. That's interesting. We are on the soldier's path, by the way, if you did not know. But flag bullets, they're, uh, they're pretty r ridiculous. I mean, like, the banana's already ridiculous here, but, like, look at that. What? You dirty dog. I thought I was behind it. You dirty dog. All right. Well, time to start from the beginning. Started from the bottom, and now I got to start from the bottom again. You know how the song goes. But yeah, Flack is kind of uh I think it's I think it's God tier. I could be wrong. 
It sure seems like it. I can't aim for crap right now. Okay. Ah, you suck. Me. There we go. We missed. I mean, but it, like I said in the last episode, it, I'd rather take two hits in a really short amount of time than take two hits really spaced out. So if we, uh, if we just... Oh, actually, this room layout is neat, but at the same time, it's kind of... I don't really know too much where to go. bibbity bobbity boo All right. Here we go. Bullet idol. I don't think I don't think it's very good. <laughs> maybe, maybe it is. I don't think so. Things are different in this game. I mean, it could have a completely different effect, but I doubt it. I imagine it's the same old not very good deal damage when you get hit situation. I'm just trying to let flak bullets do some work here. I can't believe that worked. I cannot believe that worked. I can't get my uh, my dang shots where I want them right now. I cannot believe that that all worked right there. That was ridiculous. Oh my gamer. Gamester Supreme. Okay, and villain. Okay, I think I think we Are these always the same like I Oh my god. The same layout. No, I feel like the last time we were here they were green blobby lines, which weren't so scary and bouncy. Ruining my life. There we go. Thank you, Flack. Thank you, Flack. Back to 10. I think we can see a jammed boss, but uh, we haven't been running into a ton of them. Oh, weird. Weird layout. No! No! Proton Backpack is so bad, please! It's so bad! Please! Take it from me! There we go. This we just have to pretty much make sure we don't land on the platforms. As long as we do that, we should be pretty okay. But I actually, I don't know. I think we might be fine. We're out of blanks. Uh, this is pretty much like, that's just the one attack you don't want to see. Like if you were to remove one of these dang attacks from here and be a-okay, it would be that one. Because you can set up some scenarios for you that just suck. Junkin, thank you. We do get to be pretty darn far away for that one now. It's weird. It's like it, it is a pretty darn easy boss, except for just when that sucker. Oh, okay. Well, we got two bouncy balls now, so I guess I got to be careful about what I say. When that's the suckers on the wall show up, you can have a pretty rough time there. Back to full, ladies and gentlemen. We gaming. No key. What is up with that? Gilded bullets? Sure. It's live ammo. Is it really worth that much? Is it really worth that price for physical contact immunity? And oh god, I do not like this layout. Mostly because I hate fighting bosses on it. But it's, it's a, it can be rough for enemies as well. Okay, I'm having a. I'm having a tough time seeing my uh, my dang downwell boots too. Seeing them do their duty. Just when we do, yeah. See that they're red when they bounce off the wall. They at least have the gilded bullets when we uh, we shoot them out. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get scared and and try to dodge our, our own shots. We're gonna get scared and try to dodge our own shots. I guarantee it. Big shotgun is somehow even better in this game. Somehow even better. What is that? Magic bullets? Don't really care if we get it or not, to be honest. We got the big old shotgun. Flap. 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 
Okay. The magic bullets, maybe they are pretty darn good. Do we lose money, though? If we lose money, it's pretty rough. This room just never stops. Frank, like, I mean, thankfully, it's really darn easy, but... <gasps> Bye. 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 <laughs> they, why do they just they just zoop on up into the sky? Scatter flag, though. I mean, god dang. Sure. At least we got scatter with it. Whoa! <laughs> Whoops! Get off my vehicle! Okay. Gunzang, don't mind if I do. What is the issue going to be this run? Visual clarity. Visual clarity is going to be our big issue of the run. Hey. Okay. Oh, God. That, <laughs> that looked disgusting. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Once again, there we go. The, them dang booties. Bolt Python. Yeah, I just... Bolt Python, I feel like, is not that bad of a boss, really. But on this layout, it's a bad boss. It's tough. Way tougher on this layout. We got two blanks. Uh-oh. Gun Knight Greaves, you don't really need them. Not gonna go out of my way for them. Shotgun full of hate. There we go, there we go, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yes. Just like that. Yep, yep. Got it. Get it, got it, good. Thank you very much. 15 combo. And yet another perfect. We keep on, like, doing some sloppy garbage uh, dodges in and, like, oh, man. Maybe we shouldn't have done that for Gilded Bullets. But uh, sloppy situations in the rooms preceding the bosses, then we get to the bosses, and then we, like, we perfect them. That being said, we've had a relatively easy set of bosses, and now we have a very OP build. Like, a probably uh, some of the most overpowered stuff I think you can get in the game. Oh. Weirdly not great. Oh, and then there's Rubidine. And then there was Rubidine. Oh my god, and there's the banana. Look, it's a full freaking supermarket when you hit an enemy. I just can't, I can't tell if the enemies are alive or not. That's the, that's the problem we have today. Oh, come on, give me an NPC or some. I feel like the marine path might actually have one less opportunity for NPCs. What weapon do I have? Bundle of wands. Okay. Chickification. From Retromation. I don't know if we get their money. Which is relevant today with Gilded Bullets. I mean, it's relevant all days, but like... You know, we got our power scales off of money today. Very directly. Well, thank you very much. Now we're OP. Thank you very much. Just watch and see. Okay. Yeah, I feel like the uh, the hot light is like irrelevant to have gotten. Like, what does it help us with? Room clear. We don't really need help with that. If anything, it's like let's get some stuff that'll make the final boss a joke. That's kind of where we're at right now. Let's make the final boss a joke. Woo, baby! Woo-hoo, baby! Okay. I want to take... Can, I want to take this to the boss, please. It's so good. It's hilarious. There's so much money everywhere, too. Shark Blast. Seems like our weakest weapon so far. Weirdly. No Ganga Mesh. Okay. OK. 
Okay. Yeah, boy! Thank you! I can do this all day, baby. I can do this. Uh, I have no idea where the hell to go. <laughs> uh, God tier jump blank, though. That, that really worked out. And you know what? Getting the heavy boots for this final phase is actually pretty solid. There's actually, like, definitely a, a use case for it here. Banana jam hands? I'm gonna say nah. Thank you. I'm gonna keep my money. Thank you. I'm gonna keep my money. Alright. But yeah, now we got, like, oh, real solid banging damage and the ability to knock people off in the pit hilariously. Huh. No! I tried too hard to do it. There we go. There's definitely a lot of people and not a lot of visual uh, clarity happening due to my chaos. Bye. Do we get money from that? I feel like we do. Combo up. Now that we need it or can use it. Ooh, thank you. Hello there, scoundrel. Winchester original game, $70 to play. You're increasing the price. I guess maybe it's uh, based off of how late in the game you find it. Oh, man. That did not go as well as I thought. Okay. Oh! Underrated how much that would actually have a, a, an effect on things. You know what? Maybe the same shot, but like a little bit higher. Oh my god. It, it just popped it? Okay, fine. We'll kill the one in the bottom. It just popped that block in the other, and they just fell straight down. What the physics is that? I'll take a, I'll take a red chest though. Explosive rounds. Been here longer than most. I wonder how old I really am. <laughs> it's enough personal stuff for now. Wait, what? Save it for my game, hot shot. Oh, okay. Hmm. <clears throat> Bye. Oh, you gotta go. Can you? I don't know if he can. He's got it, but I don't know if he can. Oh, I got... Oh, no! I got hit somewhere in the midst of the bees. And look at these heavy bullet bees. They are wild. Oh, my God. They are just... They are definitely wrecking my screen. I love it. I can't see nothing. Where am I? Okay. Where am I amidst the bees? Get out of here. Final stop. To sell or, or to buy? To sell. No way in hell am I sacrificing my damage for either of those. Bip, bip, bip. One combo. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Clunk. No. Oh, I got to use the garbage. Garbage begets garbage. Wanna hit him with the butt shots. Come on now. Three, two, one. Blam. Come on now. There. <laughs> Look at that big on big old opener right there. I feel like there's a better way to dodge that move than I've been doing. I don't know what it is. Oh, 
Okay. Which pistol? You ain't, you ain't putting in the work I need you to put in. Beehive! Hey! That should be pretty solid for this. There we go. Oh no, they're just going off screen! They're going off the grid! Okay. I'm gonna spend a little bit more time on screen, my friend. Spend a little bit more time with the class here. Bip! Bada bip! Bada bip! There we go. Dragon fire. Dragon fire V dragon. Come on now. It's poetic. Oh. Flying disc V dragon. Little less poetic, but apparently amazingly strong. Time to die. I do want the credits. Now it's time to die. Can we, can we, uh, this might actually be losing us credit, or bonus credits for how well we played at the end. So I maybe shouldn't do that. All right. The wonderful Gatling. I, I can only assume he's supposed to be like the Gatling, all right? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Dropping in. Hi there. <laughs> it's the sound. It's so good. All right, so we gotta make sure we save 60? Save 60 credits to give to this sucker. Basically, like, we probably just shouldn't buy anything for a while, but it's hard to do that because I am a ding-dong who wants to buy things. At all times. I cannot save. I cannot save. I mean, not in real life. Only in video games. Only in video games. In real life, I just... I got the essentials. I don't even I don't even buy very many video games <laughs> to be honest. When the fast killing gun shell shoots and stuff. But we got uh, we should get enough to get a hundred credits, which will be enough to buy a cool costume for next time. Bonus seven. I wonder if we would have gotten a bonus eight if we didn't uh, you know, cast ourselves into the fire. Isn't uh so many times. Oh, we don't have enough to do. Oh I am just going to say yes right now Hello, Doug. I Feel like there's maybe another NPC for right here Don't you have a gun to exit? Yeah, don't you have a gun to exit? Yeah But I guess you know like is there a costume we can do? Yeah, we can get one of the base costumes. We'll save it. We could get a hat. Wait, is there any cool hats we got here? Anything new? Not that I see. But, eh, you know, I'll do it, bro. I'll, I'll save it. Maybe we'll get something cool tomorrow at the beginning. We'll see. We'll see. You got anything else? Wow, thank you. I guess he's just saying that because, well, we did everything. Uh, but, alright. I guess that's gonna do it. Winchester, he's okay. Huh. You guys got a problem or something? Or maybe that's him. Maybe that's him saying uh, a really nice thing. Maybe from the, uh, the drunkard saying that he's okay is like as big of a compliment as you can get. Anyway, that is gonna do it for today. Thank you everybody for watching, and an extra special thank you to DHex, Throbo, Nadalric, Justice on the Shogun Gun, More Than Awesome, and Semi Colon P for supporting on Patreon at the Go Team Gungeon tier if you want to support the channel. Patreon.com slash Retromation, link in the very top of the description. Thank you, thank you. See you next time. <laughs>